This one's a really old hat. I don't know how old this is, but um, so let me know. But it's in really good condition for what it is. Look at this, the IU hat. I'm guessing, guessing 70s or 80s, probably closer to the 70s, but it's white, red on the sides and the back. It is a Speedway hat. So maybe that might give it away as to the time period, but this is definitely vintage. And look at, the dude's doing layups. He's doing layups. Dollywood, the theme park in Tennessee, maybe? But uh, that's why I got a Capitol. Is this like Capitol Records? Do they, do they make hats? Or is this just a different, I don't know. Next up, we have the Notre Dame hat with the side hit of the Irish leprechaun. It's like almost like an accordion uh, <laughs> type script. The less impactful, more subtle, Camel, the black and gray. I actually found the shirt, which was probably a bootleg at the time, a uh, pocket tee, and I sold it. And so now we have the hat version, but this is, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is actually Camel. So I know that for sure just because of the tag. But um, that just black and white smoke color scheme, Camel. Look at the embroidery patchwork. Look at that. Kind of deformed or at least a weird shape for a hat, it's kind of just stretched out. But uh, Marlboro Racing, and you know, the tags, what is this, Habitat. So we've seen that before, previously. This one I had did my best to restore, but I just, I was just gonna get it anyways. It's the Explorer, America's Van, neon pink, look at that. I think these are awesome, like just neon, especially neon, corduroy, Explorer Van hats, Psh, sign me up. It's also got this weird, like, how you adjust it is through this. How the hell does this work? Oh, you like have to pull this together and then slide it. I think they're really cool, but I won't wear them. So look at the logic on that one. Next up we have, look at this, the freaking pinstripes. Boom, 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 boom. Logo Athletic, Indiana University, IU, Hoosiers, beaten up a little bit. There's also no top button or whatever, but I know from like a collector standpoint that kind of matters, but like from just day to day, that's not gonna matter if you wear it. A very clean, look at the condition, just when it naturally goes like this. Oh, and it's new with tags, logo seven. The Pacers, oh, so clean. Might be going to the personal just for how clean this thing is, logo seven interior so nice i actually had this hat in a previous video and we got it again baby the goodyear captain string victory lane indianapolis 500 i think 1996. Boom. number one in racing number one in your hearts very clean very nice it is the the lord is my shepherd but bobby knight is my coach very cool Beaten up on the brim, trucker hat, probably best for just the collection piece. And uh, look at the, it's an upside down tag, but look at that, just like, almost like on a clothing cloth piece. And last but not least, on the hat section, we have a hat that I saw online, sold or at least is selling right now for $150. $150. Wow, only problem. While I was going to fix this hat, because it had some stains, I was trying to bleach it. And then subsequently, it leaked onto the text, which sucks. Ah! So this hat is probably about half of its value. So I would say about $75. That's my guess, maybe 100 It's a white hat. Look at that. Very clean. What could this possibly be? It's a TV show. Not friends, but Frasier! Look at that. The Seattle Space Needle on the front and Ryan's bleach work on the text. <laughs> Get the one of one, baby. I don't know, maybe it's only worth 50 bucks. I mean, it's also only listed for 150, it hasn't sold for 150, but uh, this hat is probably going to be one of the less expensive hats that I've sold, hopefully. So that's pretty much all of the hats that I have. He also had some um, bowls gear, and I thought he was gonna fleece me because of everything that was going on with the last dance, but no, actually. So let's get into those. The Chicago Bulls, 
I'm not really sure what year this is, but we do know that it's probably in the 90s because it is a logo seven piece right there. Check that out. Super nice. I just noticed that there's a blue or a black mark down here, but overall, uh, for a Bulls piece, it's probably like a good 20 bucks right there. This is a pro player Bulls print. Look at how like, just this looks not fake, but like newer. It's on the best Fruit of the Loom size XL tag. So that's why we know it's a bootleg. But we have the Chicago Bulls on the back. Look at that. Look at that. With the Chicago down the sleeve. So clean. So clean. The guy was like, I'm just gonna throw this away. Do you want this? Uh, yeah. Look at the embroidery. If you are not a sports head, you might not know what this is, but look at the embroidery. It is a hoodie jersey for the Chicago Blackhawks. Now this is a newer piece, which is totally fine, because I'm just gonna sell it online. Like it's not, I don't know. It, it's better in my hands than in the trash. Oh my God, it's in my size. I am somewhat of a Blackhawks fan, so I could just keep it, but size large. Next up, this stuff is uh, pretty profitable. I think so. It's, very, it's one of the most simple yet profitable pieces uh, in the NBA, I feel like, which is the Champion brand. Uh, this is size, should be 2XL. Yes, so size 2XL with the Champion on this basketball. With that gray and white heathering, I love that. Personally, this is a weird piece because it's like this Fruit of the Loom, but it has like the, the new like, sticker. Fruit of the Loom, the 1998 NBA Champions. Super simple stitched embroidery piece, size XL. Nothing wrong with it for a white piece. You've got to love that. Again, for the price for all this stuff, I'm just like mouth watering, like, oh my God. Look at this, the greatest team ever, the 72 and 10, I think. That's probably why that would say that. But uh, 91, 92, 93, 96, the beginning of the second repeat, or three-peat, the starter gang. Look at that. Nothing wrong with it as a white piece. It is a starter brand, size large. Wow. Actually, yeah, so there's some marks here on the back, but other than that, look at that. And last but not least, we have the 95, 96 season. 70 wins, 70 and 12, I think, yeah. That's, I think that was the one they broke the record. Then yeah, let's, let's go with that. That's what that season was. We've got marks throughout, and one right there, and a two by the collar, size large, on the old starter tag. That's really cool. And that's pretty much it. We got so much stuff. Oh my God. Life sometimes throws you a lob and you Pablo Sanchez, home run. So everything you've seen is available, uh, including the sweater that I'm wearing, which I also got at a garage sale. It is a polo sport, boom, sweater stitched. This is big on me, but it's, a, it's an XL. If you see anything in today's video or any of the other videos, please hit me up and we'll hook you up with a good price. Peace. Check it out.